Hey guys, I'd like to uh, just do a brief overview of what's included in the Pro Channel uh, in the new Cakewalk by Band Lab, and I'm just going to run over them very quickly. Don't uh, there's too many of them to basically show you every one and get into detail, but uh, I just want to give you a quick overview and show you what some of the really the great items are that are in the Pro Channel. And to open up the Pro Channel. You just click this knob here and you can see I've got a couple already preloaded here if I wanted to add more I'm gonna go ahead and right click and see where it says insert module it brings up my list and sorry there I can see that my window and picture in picture there is covering up the top of my list but you get the idea I can uh, go through and select what I'd like here uh, while I'm on it I just want to show you all these one knob style dials. I've got a couple of those preloaded. Got the space smoother shaper pulse, and you can pretty much figure out what they're going to do. The name's pretty descriptive. But let's uh, move along, and let me just show you exactly what we've got here. And just to kind of make that easier, I'm just going to solo this uh, version of Easy Drummer. And. I'm not going to show you these in any particular order, but uh, let me just start out. Usually this is good on the end of the chain, and this is the console emulator. And you can see this area right here. This is where you turn them all on and off. You can see how that, or hear how that changed everything. This uh, represents uh, an emulation of three very popular consoles, the S-Type, the N-Type. I'll let you guess what they are. You know, N maybe might be uh, something like a, a knee. <laughs> or anyway, let me engage that. These are all pretty subtle and work best when you have them in all your tracks. Uh, as you notice, you probably, especially if you're hearing, listening or watching on the phone, you can't even hear what's going on. But when you have them across 30 tracks, it does make a big difference. Here's the little collapse knob. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, you will get this little tube saturator, I believe. And let me just say, some of these I'm not sure what you get and what you don't get, but I'm making a highly educated guess. You're looking at my uh, Sonar Platinum, which is basically the same thing as the Cakewalk by Band Lab. But uh, since I've been using the, the old Sonar Platinum for a while, I've collected uh, quite a few extra uh, items in the Pro Channel. But this tube saturator, you can see it's got that little fake tube blow light. And it's getting a little nasty. This is my one of my favorites here is the EQ. And it has a fly out, which is really nice. And let me just kind of I'll go ahead and uh, and you can pin this if you want. And so now I can just bring up something else and this will not disappear or unpin it. But turn this on. So it allows you to mangle the sound pretty good, but actually you can come in and get some really good stuff. It has a gloss, which is kind of a way up there high end. I believe it's uh, way up in the mid-teens or so. And then you've got different types of EQ that you can use here. You can see how it will Again, representing uh, different types of popular EQs and your uh, high pass. But let's go ahead and move on. Uh, the compressor, I believe you probably will not get, but this uh, hopefully these next couple items I want to show you is something that. Uh, basically kind of came out of the uh, the baker's oven so to speak so uh, you can see this represents the popular 1176 compressor and has the typical ratios that are just selectable and of course the all button and you can hear how that would be great for parallel compression uh, you have a 4K ex 
expander gate. Again, another popular emulation. I'll let you guess what it emulates. Hear what it's doing on the snare drum. Moving on. Now, I believe you do get this, this free matrix solo. This is very nice. This is a uh, convolution reverb where you can uh, have different banks. Uh, and actually, I believe you can import your own reverb banks into here. But listen on the drums. Ignore my clicky drum, but it's doing a good job on that snare. Typical wet dry, your decay time, pre delay, stereo width, and it has a built in EQ, which is really nice too, especially on the reverbs. Let's move on. And I, I, I'm almost positive these are not included, but these are more a popular pie with the uh, Boss Labs, if you've heard of them. You have the Dave Bendeth uh, Plus 10 uh, dB compressor. And they made that available in the Pro Channel module, and hopefully that will be coming down the pipe. Same with your EQ. These are very musical. And then this was some old uh, cakewalk item. It was a chorus, and I, I, I put chorus on everything. It sounds pretty great. And let's get down to these style dials. These one... Uh, boobies here as I want to call them the space I uh, can imagine what that might be it's going to be add space and it's actually working pretty good on drums so if you these are very low uh, CPU hitters so you can just throw them in your pro channel without having to drag in uh, something into the effects bin and you can imagine what grit might be <laughs> Again, that would be very nice in parallel compression. Have to deal with the volume. And then, speaking of volume, this is uh, probably going to be a very popular favorite. If you just want to boost that mix with your max knob. And of course, you can have several of these open at the same time as much as you're. sampling of the Pro Channel modules and the Cakewalk by Band Lab and another ones that we're crossing our fingers for that are going to come down the pike. So that's it guys. Oh, and by the way, if you have any comments, I really appreciate uh, the feedback and uh, chatting with you guys in the comment section and then, uh, please remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. I appreciate it so much. Take care guys.